Hey, hello, hello there, ladies, gents. Thank you very much for joining us here in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Trivia. Once again, here live. Well, congratulations on making it here, ladies, gents. Top of the evening, top of the afternoon, or top of the morning to you out there. My name is Deshaun. Probably one or two of you have seen me before. I'm going to be your host, guiding you through tonight's gauntlet. Well, who wants to be a millionaire trivia that has been seen in more than 130 countries? So, let's get to the bottom of this. Fifteen questions are prepared for you. You'll need to be wise and sharp in order to get everything right. Because only if you finish with all 15 questions answered correctly, you get to that prize pool of $1,500. Shared across all the beautiful and smart winners out there. In order to help you get through the process, because the questions are tricky and complicated, there are two lifelines, namely 50-50 which removes two at the worst, leaving the right one and one wrong one. So it's 50-50 as the chance in the Hell Life line suggests. And also there's Ask the Audience where you can see which people are hedging their bits upon which answer and then join the crowd or against, go against the flow. So, ladies and gents, hopefully you have your thinking hats on. It's about to begin. All right, hello, hello there. Well, let's see, we're going to hit 2,000 people before the rubber meets the road, because in just a few seconds, we're going to dive right in, ladies and gents, without spilling too many beans. Let's get into it. Good luck. So, first question as follows. Which of these foods never goes bad? A, milk, B, chicken, C, honey, or D, fish? Now, ladies and gents, which of these foods usually you store at home and doesn't go bad? I do believe the first one is just a warm-up question. Hopefully you get this one right, and I will remind you regarding those lifelines along the way. But let's get to the right answer. Correct answer for this first question, ladies and gents, is C, honey. Honey can stay long as the best one because, well, it doesn't have much moisture in it. Very good one. Very smart people. Almost everybody got it. Second question. Which month of the year do Americans celebrate Thanksgiving? Answer A, November. Answer B, September. C, for July. Or perhaps a D, for August. Now, one of this uh, could be uh, with fireworks or not. It really depends, ladies and gents. Which of the month? Is it the hot month? Is it the cold month? Where or where? Correct answer, ladies and gents, for the second question is the answer A, November. November, November, the 5th of November. Hmm. All right. Let's keep moving on, ladies and gents. This one was a little bit tougher. Third question. Let's go. In which sport might a player be assisted by a caddy? Answer A, soccer. Answer B, climbing. Answer C, golf. Or D, for tennis. Now, soccer, climbing, golf, or tennis. Which of these sports have a little bit of help? With a name of caddy. Ladies, gents, anybody have tried the sport before probably already knows the right answer. Correct one for this question is the answer C, golf, ladies, gents. Seems like this was one of the tough ones. Ladies, gents, don't forget you don't get any bonus if you finish with lifelines intact. Do use them. Let's go. Fourth question, at which United States city would you go to see a baseball played at Wrigley's Field? Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, or Boston? So, answer A for Chicago, answer B for L.A., then C for New York, and D for Boston. Which of these is Wrigley Field? And what kind of sport? Oh, baseball. Ah, true. Well, if you're a baseball fan, it is Chicago or Chicago. It really depends from where you're at, but this one was also pretty tough, ladies and gents. Don't forget to use those lifelines. Let's continue. We're almost third way through. Jade, a precious stone in Chinese culture, is in which color? Answer A for green, B for blue, that makes sense, C for white, or D for pink. Now, green, blue, white, or pink. And which color is jade? Kind of interesting and cool. Gemstone. Well, stone, and then you make a gem out of it. So, correct answer for this fifth question, ladies and gents, is, and of course, the answer A for green. Seems like this one was a little bit easier than the last one, but still a couple of you got it wrong. But still continue plowing through, ladies and gents. If you get the finish line, 1500 as a prize pool shared across all the winners. Sixth question. Kanye West produced the Yeezy line of sports shoes in conjunction with which brand? A for Adidas, B for Asics, C for Reebok, or D for Nike? Uh, do keep in mind there was some change of partnership, but one of these started first, then dropped, and then another one picked up and continued. That's as much as I can spill the beans and tell you. 
So the sixth question, correct answer is the answer A for Adidas. Yes, there was Adidas was the first one. Then there were some issues with PR for Kanye, and then Nike continued on. Seventh question: In Middle Eastern country, did women only get the right to drive in 2017? Was it Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Iran, or Israel? So answer A for Saudi Arabia, answer B for Jordan, C for Iran, or D for Israel. Which of these countries only women start driving their own personal cars in 2017? Kind of late. Anyways, the correct answer, ladies and gents, is the answer A for Saudi Arabia. Compliments. Seems like vast majority of you got this one right. Let's keep moving on, ladies and gents. Eighth question. More than halfway through. In the movies and cartoons, what was the name of Tarzan's girlfriend? Was it Anne, Suzanne, Kate, or Jane? So, ladies and gents, A for Anne, B for Suzanne, C for Kate, or D for Jane. Which of these four were the Tarzan's girlfriend? And probably still is. Although I haven't checked. Correct answer, ladies and gents, for this eighth question was beneath the answer. Mm, D for Jane. Well, this was the best answered question by far. Well done, ladies and gents. You did keep your history fresh. Ninth one. In the original version of the board game, Trivia Pursuit, which color were the sports questions? Green, pink, blue, or orange? So, ladies and gents, in Trivia Pursuit, the color of sports cards was A for green, B for pink, C for blue, or D for orange. I haven't played the game myself, so can't give any kind of spoilers there. Hopefully you do know. Correct answer is the answer D for orange, ladies and gents. Seems like a lot of you have played this game or at least know the right answer. Sweet, ladies and gents. Well, only a few more left to go. Tenth one. In which class might you downwards uh, do downwards facing dog, triangle, or side plank? Soccer, yoga, art, or archery? Now, ladies and gents, if you have heard any of these three mentioned, downward facing dog, triangle, or side plank, probably you have a rough idea. Maybe just excluding a couple of those, which probably ain't right. But which is right? Correct answer for the stent question, ladies and gents, is of course yoga. Congratulations. Pretty much everybody except for two people got this one right. Wise, but there's still five more left to go. Keep your head up, ladies and gents. Let's get into it. So, moving on. In which European country could you take holiday to Algarve region? Italy, Portugal, Spain, or Greece? So, Algarve region is located in Europe, but in which country? A for Italy, B for Portugal, C for Spain, or D for Greece? Now, lads and lasses, ladies, gents, all the people around the globe, have you been to the place? The correct answer is Portugal, ladies, gents. Congratulations. Seems like also very many have been there or at least know about the place. Let's keep moving on. Just four more left to go to the prize pool. In Harry Potter novels, which species was Falk? Pet of Albus Dumbledore. Griffin, Phoenix, Unicorn, or Sphinx? Now, for all those that have seen Harry Potter, probably straightforward and immediately answers clear because there were a couple of animals, but they are pretty well known because they're, well, interacting with the whole storyline. Correct answer for this 12th question, ladies and gents, is Phoenix, indeed. And I do believe in one of the movies, uh, Harry Potter saw how the Phoenix, well, finished his life and then he restarted everything again, just like we can. Moving on. 13th question. In the Sonic Hedgehog games, which creature is Knuckles? Answer A for Echidna, answer B for Kangaroo, C for Walby, or perhaps D for Platypus. Now, I don't believe that Knuckles... No, I can't spoil that one for you, ladies and gentlemen. If you know, you know. Perhaps you have seen the movie about Sonic Hedgehog as well. Well, then the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is A for Echidna. Didn't expect that one. Definitely not Platypus. Kangaroo and Walby was also pretty much out of the game. The last two to go. Good luck. Let's go in. In which city could you watch match of Macarena? Maracana, pardon, stadium. One of the biggest stadiums in the world. Answer A for Lima, D, for, uh, C for Buenos Aires, Rio de Janeiro, or Mexico City. Pardon, they stumbled a little bit. But A, B, C, or D, in which of these cities can we find Maracana Stadium, ladies and gents? Well, I do believe South Africans out there do know. Rio de Janeiro, exactly. Place of Cristo Redento as well, I do believe. Uh, we'll want to visit that one day. Final question, ladies and gents. Best of luck out there. Keep it strong. 
So, 15th. Let's get into it. In which country could you go to safari in Kruger National Park? Namibia, Ghana, Zimbabwe, or South Africa? So, ladies and gents, uh, where we can find Kruger National Park? Is it A for Namibia, B for Ghana, C for Zimbabwe, or D for South Africa? I've never been to Kruger Park. I do know about one character named Kruger, but it doesn't relate. Correct answer, South Africa, ladies and gents. Well, congratulations, congratulations, ladies and gents. There's a lot of winners for today. Looks like all the sharp cookies have got her in one place. Well, out of almost 1,900 people that started, ladies and gents, 781 have successfully finished the gauntlet. Answering everything right, using those lifelines, and you're good to go. And, well, congratulations are always welcome. Do not forget, ladies and gents, there will be one more of these coming up for this eve, or in a few couple of hours. So congratulations for all those who made it, and there's still a few more of these coming up, ladies and gents. So until the 6th of February, there will be more Millionaire Trivia. So stay tuned, stay sharp, and drop by. Never know when you can tease your brain and fill your pockets. But that's enough for me for now, ladies and gents. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you, well, perhaps a little bit later. Take care. See you.